Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another one of those famous JEE advanced questions on ENM, in particular RCL circuits. So they give us this RCL circuit which has a time varying voltage supply, an inductor, a capacitor, and a resistor all in series. So it's a series RCL circuit. So they give us the values of the inductor, capacitor, resistor. They are connected in series. They have the vo voltage uh, that's varying with time. And they ask us which of these following four statements are correct. They could be one, two, three, or four of the statements are correct. All right, so let's read them carefully. But before we do, let's do something first. Let's find the reactance of both the inductor and the capacitor. So in this case, we can say that X sub L, the reactance of the inductor, is equal to, well, that would be omega times L. Now, in this case, L is 1 times 10 to the minus 10, so this is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 10 times omega. Oh, not 10, 6, because it's micro. So we have micro Henry, so it's 10 to the minus 6 times omega. And for the capacitor, X sub C, it is equal to 1 over omega C, which is equal to 1 over omega times 10 to the minus 6. However, that's in the denominator, so this is equal to 10 to the 6th over omega. So that's the capacitive reactance. Now notice that if omega gets really big, X sub L gets big, although with a very small inductor, that's 10 to the minus 6, omega would have to be huge in order for X sub L to become large. And notice when omega becomes large, then of course X sub C becomes very small and then the capacitor almost becomes non-existent although we are starting with a fairly large capacitor of one microfarad. All right, let's read the first statement. The current will be in phase with the voltage if omega is 10 to the 4 radians per second. So if omega is 10 to the 4, what would happen? So for part A, if omega is 10 to the 4, uh, with omega equals to 10 to the fourth, x sub L would be equal to what? Well, 10 to the fourth times this, that would be 10 to the minus 2. And x sub C would be equal to 10 to the fourth, uh, that would be 10 to the second. So notice, in order for, the, uh, for part A to be correct, for the current to be in phase with the voltage, the reactant should be equal to zero. But when you add these two together, notice they do not cancel each other out because one would be in one direction, one would be the other direction. X sub C is far greater than X sub L. So at omega equals 10 to the fourth, they would not cancel out. So therefore, and I'm looking for my blue pen, therefore A is not a correct statement. How about B? The frequency at which the current will be in phase with the voltage is independent of R. Notice that the current will be in phase with the voltage if X sub L is equal to X sub C and that has nothing to do with the resistance and so therefore that would be a correct statement. How about part C? When omega gets to be really small approaches zero. When the oscillations on the voltage become really, really, really small, what happens is that the inductor essentially becomes a short circuit and the capacitor essentially becomes an open circuit. So that means that no current would be flowing through the circuit. And what they're saying here, so an omega approximately equal to zero, the current flowing through the circuit becomes nearly zero, and that would be a correct statement. Finally, at omega much, much larger than 10 to the 6 radians per second, the circuit behaves like a capacitor. Now, a capacitor, well, a capacitor is up opposed to any current when omega is very low, the capacitor holds back the current. If omega is large, omega, the current will go through the capacitor. But we still have an inductor. And so notice that the inductor becomes, uh, reactance of the inductor, X sub L, becomes large when omega becomes large. So when omega equals 10 to the sixth, X sub L will be one. But when omega equals much, much larger than 10 to the sixth, then X sub L will grow very large. And so therefore, very little current will flow, flow to the circuit, which is opposed to what you expect when you have a capacitor in the circuit when omega gets very big. So because the inductor, this is an incorrect statement, and so therefore, that is not true. When omega becomes very large, the circuit behaves like an inductor circuit. The inductor takes over, becomes the most important component in the circuit, and it will really hold back the 
the current so it will not act like a capacitor. So the only two true answers or correct answers in this case are B and C, A and D are wrong and that is how you look at a question like this.